Manners are a part of your personality. Whether it's a formal occasion or an informal get-together, the popular host or hostess greets the guest at the door and knows how to introduce them so as to put them all at ease. The rules are, again, simple. The boy is presented to the girl. The boy always rises when introduced. Boys always shake hands. Girls may if they choose. When you are dining out, the girl follows the head waiter or hostess, and the boy follows her. When there is no head waiter, the boy leads the way, getting the table and seating his lady fair. The same is true in theaters or picture shows. The girl follows the usher, and the boy follows her. When there is no usher, the boy leads the way, finding the seats. Popular girls devote themselves to pleasant conversation. No combing of hair or retouching of makeup at the table. If your beauty is a work of art, not nature, then confine your art to the powder room, if for no other reason than to save mere man his illusions. Part of the fun of eating out is trying new food cooked in new ways. But in scanning the menu, young lady, keep in mind the state of your young man's pocketbook. The tastiest dishes need not be the most expensive. It's still a man's world when it comes to giving the order. You tell your escort, and he'll tell the waiter. In spite of everything, accidents do happen. Apologize, if in a home, offer to repair the damage, and then drop the subject. When dining out, the waiter will take care of it. Going places and doing things requires budgeting of time. And it is much more pleasant if you call on time and are ready when called for. If the man of the hour is not acquainted with your parents, then introductions are, of course, in order. A few pleasant words before setting out will put you at ease and make things more gracious. After all, parents are people, and they have a genuine interest in you. One of the young lady's parents or a close family friend should be present whenever she leaves on a date. Take good care of her, young man. This means not only big things like driving safely and getting your home at the reasonable hour set, but also little things like opening doors and many other small courtesies that our ladies do. The same principle and consideration for the young lady applies if you are going on the streetcar to the library or out on a very special occasion. Whether it be punch from a crystal bowl or hot dogs at a hayride, the gentleman is responsible for getting refreshments. And it is the young lady's responsibility to be gracious in all her actions, to help in keeping up conversation so that everyone is at ease. When she goes to the cloakroom, don't tarry with the stag line. Be nearby to escort her when she comes out. Carry your manners with you at all times. Make them part of you. They will help you over the hard places. And remember, whatever your goals in life, finding a good job, being a gracious host or hostess, or not being a wallflower at college parties, good manners will help you achieve them faster.